All right, this is our first time in the new house. What'd you think, Isaac? So we have a mystery on our hands right now. Oh, oh. Good morning, my dad and I are out shopping this morning. We are working on my laundry room. It's actually kind of a laundry closet and I've been wanting cupboards or cabinets, whatever you call it, above the washer and dryer so we can have more storage in there and it'll look nicer and he's helping me with that project today. And by helping me, I mean I'm making the decisions and he's totally doing it. So we're shopping. So these are the pre-made cabinets that we're looking at. I'm also looking at medicine cabinets. I would love to put one of those in our master bathroom just to have a little bit more storage there. Basically, I'm trying to clean my house by making sure that we have the storage that we need for the stuff that we have and by decluttering a bunch. I'm also looking at washer and dryers while I'm here because ours, we bought it used like 12 years ago and it is dying and I'm scared that it's going to crash right when we have the baby and then I'm gonna have all this laundry and no washer and dryer. So there's some good sales this weekend, so I'm checking them out. I feel like I'm a real adult that I'm so excited about getting my laundry room set up. Like having cabinets and storage and a washer and dryer that work well, that shouldn't be that exciting to me, but it is. So I just sat down and I go, oh. And Caleb goes, what's the matter, mom? Is it a distraction? And I was like, um, no, it wasn't a distraction. Those are called contractions. Oh. What's a distraction? Uh, it's something when you, when someone's doing something distracting. Mm hmm And what's a contraction? It's when the baby's trying to come out and you don't want it to. Oh, I'm okay if the baby comes out but not today probably. There's my big old tummy. All right, well I actually ended up bringing home three different medicine cabinets because I couldn't picture what it would look like in my actual bathroom. So I'm gonna let you guys see the three different options in my messy master bathroom and then you guys can help us decide. So there'll be a poll, so pay attention. So here's our dirty master bathroom in all its glory. Which one are you bringing in, Jerm? The white one. All right, here is the white medicine cabinet. Very nice. Okay, now do you wanna bring in the glass one? Sure. To be able to stand back this far, I had to climb into our bathtub. So I'm over here in the corner of the bathtub. Hi. So this one's just solid glass. That one we don't have to worry about how it matches, but it's smaller. And then the last one is like a brushed metal frame. You're doing great, babe. So this is the brushed metal framed one. I just wish you would have brought home like 12 of these so I could lift them all up and <laughs> I could see which one you like best. So that one, it's metal, but it kind of goes with our wood. It looks different at different angles of light too. Because it's shiny. All right, so poll question. Which one should we do? The white framed one, the solid glass one, or the brushed metal framed one? Let us know up here. And I'm going to continue my to-do list for the day. I am definitely nesting. Got to get ready for baby girl. So for the last day or so, I don't think our dishwasher has been working because there's so much calcium buildup in it that it's just functioning. So, so we're trying to fix the dishwasher so it'll work like it's supposed to and get rid of all the calcium buildup that it has. While I was working on the dishwasher, Mugga was cleaning out the pantry. She actually did the basement pantry as well. So going through, seeing what food might be expired, and just organizing it again. Looks great. I got it right. <laughs> Papa's helping Isaac with double digit multiplication. Double digit. They had it back in my day. <laughs> yeah? Like bicycles? Yeah, and bicycles and water. <laughs> so we have a mystery on our hands right now. We are missing Elise's backpack and lunchbox, and we know she came home from school with them last week, and we're trying to get ready for school tomorrow. Can't find it anywhere. Okay, we're trying to find the backpack, you guys. These two have been good helpers. Alright, so now, you're gonna help me. I'm looking at Elise's 
Is it in there? Is it back no, there? No, I can't find it. So strange. So I'm cracking up over here. Elise and I are sitting here finishing up reading and all of a sudden I had like a side cramp and I'm like, oh, this hurts. And Elise looks up and she goes, oh no, mom, are you subtracting? And it was so cute. Apparently this is a new vocabulary word for my kids to learn. So Lisey, what's it called when mommy's tummy squeezes so tight to get ready for the baby to come? You know subtracting? Try again. Just, con, dacking, <laughs> contracting, contracting. That's the word. <laughs> you got it. That's a big word, isn't it? Contracting. Yes. I took my backpack. Did you find it? <laughs> there it is. Yay! What found it? Where? We found the backpack. Right here. It had slid behind the hope chest. I'm gonna go find my lunchbox. It should be in here. Yep. There it is. Okay. Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we looked everywhere. Like we were very thorough, but we missed that spot. So a couple weeks ago, the oven light burned out on our oven, and I tried to replace it. Like I tried to unscrew it, but it didn't work. No. Just the glass part came off and this part is stuck inside. So I recommended getting a potato to undo it uh, But we're just gonna unplug it so that there's no electricity going into it and fix the light So we're gonna use some pliers. Oh Jeremy. This would be a great time for us to clean the side of that yes. And under it should we clean under it too? Let's clean the whole thing. Let's do it. Could I be nesting anymore? Mean. What do you think it means? Deep cleaning everything? That's a good solution for nesting. Nesting is when a mommy's getting close to having a baby and she wants to get everything ready for her baby. Then why is that called? It's kind of like a bird getting their nest ready. And what's our nest? Um, getting our house clean and yep. Um, yeah, everything. Yep. <laughs> You know, it's surprisingly clean back then. We've done this before. We've lived here for like three years. We clean stuff. We've lived here more than three years. We have lived here four years today. Are you serious? Yeah. Today's our house anniversary. Yeah. All right, this is our first time in the new house. What'd you think, Isaac? Elise, what did you like about the house? Mm -hmm. Kayla's room and my room and Isaac's room and Kayla's room and, I, and, mom and, and our room and mom and dad's room. When we walked in, Elise said, and This kitchen is beautiful. <laughs> it's really cool. And little chairs. One years old! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> There it is, an oven light. Now we need to clean the oven too. <laughs> now let's close this before Kendra sees inside there with light. Our oven has a cleaning setting, self-clean. I've never used it. Today's the day. I'm gonna see if it comes out cleaner using the self-clean setting. Let's give it a try. Self-clean. Well, it's much cleaner. We stopped it a little bit early. So apparently when you use the self-cleaning setting on an oven, or at least our oven, it stinks. I 
I ordered the best ever tacos with grilled veggies on the side. And that's the actual title in the menu. I got the fajitas. <laughs> We all know that I love sunsets and we have an amazing sunset going on tonight. Thanks for watching. J House out. That's called nursing pads. Those are for the mommies. There's the poopy diaper challenge.